Now that Chicago's restaurant industry has been allowed to expand capacity, there is a push to get workers vaccinated as soon as possible. The Chicago Restaurant Coalition held a virtual Zoom meeting with the mayor's staff and aldermen to address this issue. And joining us now to tell us what came of all of this is Roger Romanelli, the executive director of the Fulton Market Association. Good morning, Roger. Thanks for joining me again. Good to see you. Good morning, Sylvia. Thanks for having me on the show. Before we get into that, uh, explain to us where restaurant employees currently fall in the phases of vaccination scheduling and why you think they should be moved forward and vaccinated immediately. Yes, right now we're in the vaccination for the 1B category that includes our, our senior citizens and some of the people that we consider very essential workers, medical professional, public safety, uh, some of the mainline production. Uh, the restaurant workers fall into the 1C category and they're scheduled to be vaccinated later at the end of this month, uh, potentially in the beginning of April. Okay, and obviously that's something you guys want to change. So let's talk about, you had that meeting yesterday. What came out of it? Was there any good news? Is there a chance that might change the scheduling? Yes, well, let me just uh, address one of the facts. The mayor's staff was not on the call. We did invite the mayor's staff to the call and we invited aldermen to the call. We had one alderman participate, uh, one alderman staff participate. But what we concluded is that we would like to make to the case to the mayor and the alderman that at least uh, some of the core restaurant employees should be considered essential. Point is, Sylvia, as our society reopens, families, workers, employees, they rely on restaurants for food, of course. And so while we understand seniors and medical professionals and some of the other professionals are very important, we consider the restaurant manager, the chef, and maybe a couple of the core staff to be essential. So we're gonna advocate to the mayor that at least four representatives from each restaurant be mm -hmm. considered essential and moved up the line in the vaccination process. Do you have plans to talk to the mayor this week? What's the situation there? Oh, it's a great question. Well, we just had our meeting yesterday and I'm in the, I am literally in the middle of writing up our request to the mayor's office and we hope we'll hear back as soon as possible. We have to remember that restaurants are an essential part of our lives when we move back to reopening people's schedules crunch down and not only do they want to take out food, but they want the ability to, to eat with each other in indoor mm -hmm. dining. So we really hope the mayor and the alderman will agree that some of the core restaurant employees should be considered essential and should be moved up the line in the vaccination process. So has this 50% capacity made a difference for restaurants? Uh, do you see the need for more expansion? I, I've talked to some restaurant owners who are saying, you know what, we're just going 100% right now because we just can't operate on 50%. What's your response to that? Well, first of all, Sylvia, we have to remember, even though there's a beautiful celebration at the United Center right now, we are still in the fight against the virus. So if people love restaurants, then please do all you can to wear the mask and let's defeat the virus. But let's not assume that the vaccine is going to solve everything. But on the 50%, Sylvia, it's real simple. Restaurants need every dollar of sales to survive. Restaurants were closed unfairly for 180 days for indoor dining, and their restaurant occupancy has been only up to 40% over the past year. Restaurants need every single dollar. So we want to be safe. Our next goal is to move to 75%, but we agree we have to move in stages. The 50% was important. Our coalition worked hard. We're asking everyone in Chicago to go to our website and help us uh, help us continue to lobby the mayor and that mm -hmm. chicagorestaurants.org. Please sign our petition. So you don't. So you're hoping for 75%. You don't know when that's going to happen. Is there any push to get restaurants more financial funding? Yes, and we, we believe it will happen. We're looking at the city's matrixes. That if they come down to a certain level, we think the city is going to be able to move forward. So again, we're asking everyone in the city to go forward. Well, on the funding side, Sylvia, as you may know, there's some really good news out of Washington, D.C. It looks like the Congress is going to pass $29 billion for restaurant relief throughout America. That inc could include $100,000 grants for mm -hmm. restaurants to pay their employees and their benefits and some other financial uh, benefits there. So there is great hope. We're really, we have our fingers crossed okay. that this COVID bill is gonna pass. Okay, and then, um, so 75% prediction real quick, we're out of time. What do you think that might happen? My prediction is everybody's gotta stay safe and we've gotta defeat the virus right. and we'll just watch it on a day-to-day -day basis. Next week, and we two weeks. We wanna work with the mayor and the alderman. And so thank you very much. Okay, well, Roger, we always appreciate you joining us.
You stay safe. Thank you, Sylvia. I appreciate your time. Have a good day. Coming up.